Yesterday, Team Myriad, run by Lost Template and Kylo Renegade, hosted a Halo 5 Infection tourney. With uni and everything going on, I've barely touched the game and I haven't been consistently grinding for a long time, so I decided not to participate and just watch the stream. However, of course, I got forced against my will to play by Prisley. You see, some people didn't show up to the third lobby, so I had to fill in to even out the numbers. But this was a perfect chance for me to drop like two kills each game, drop out, then go back to sleep. Unfortunately, the first game was backwards, which is the best farming map for none last, and I couldn't help myself and I found myself in the tournament fine. But could I win? Was anyone going to hit a net? And could I prove that I'm still better than Raging Fury 555 here, even though he daily uploads and I've uploaded like 20 times in the past year? When Prisley forced me to compete, I was fresh out the shower and this was my first game on, so I didn't expect it to go well, but it actually was my best game out of the entire series. On competitive backwards, I like to sit in Cove, farming any zombies that come from DMR spawn. I saw a crazy swarm from Pistol that was shut down instantly, I picked up two of those kills and moved back. My rotation for the first round was go to the front of Cove house, wrap back, get kills and repeat. I even managed to get last man standing and a hell jumper, then a dance. Feeling pretty confident, I was a zombie in round 2, and it's really hard to get anything going on this map. Some human kept getting lucky bulltrues at Prisley, and I didn't even get anyone until almost 2 minutes into the round, where I got a double kill, choked a lunge, then got another double kill next lap. Into round 3, and I'm 50 points ahead. Almost choked the game, but somehow the guy next to me got targeted, and I got away from melee. This round was dead at first, so I tried to rotate the map, got too greedy though, and I ended up dying pretty quickly. Prisley stole my flatline, but I noticed he was a zombie in the final round, meaning I had a guaranteed win. So once again I rotated around Cove, but after a minute I decided to rotate out towards top well. Even though I was missing a lot of shots, rotating here was definitely worth it as I managed to get an overkill and I didn't die until the very end of the round, securing my win. Overall I got 44 kills this game and 245 points. Kicking things off as a zombie in game 2, and my first strategy for Ghoul Town is to go to the middle of the map and hope a human falls into the trap. I was able to infect one person, but walking around the corner I was caught off guard and I should have been looking straight ahead. I found another human on this walkway, tried clambering up, but ultimately I choked my lunge and he got cleaned up, giving someone an SMG spawn last man. I thought I was in time, so I jumped in slowly, watched another guy miss, and lunged in for the flatline. As a human on Gultan, I start most rounds running up to sniper spawn, to ensure that I don't get killed by someone sitting in the middle, and so that I can try and pick off a few kills from zombies spawning across from me. I pushed up once it was clear, and saw a zombie running below, and I chased them, but this was a pretty clumsy decision, thankfully I didn't get punished for it. Running around the corner and almost made another mistake, I don't know how I didn't see this guy right next to me. Now humans had more control of the map, I moved up to the bridge across from their spot, gunned a few zombies down, but out of nowhere a zombie slides in and I had no time to react. Round 3 and I'm back on the bridge, trying to be a little more cautious this time as I pick up one kill. In matchmaking I probably would push down to find that other zombie, instead though I ran for the ammo on SMG and ran back to top mid. Luckily again there was another zombie but he ran right past me, I could have easily died here. I noticed people were dying, so I rotated back to Sniper hoping I would get last man, got a triple, then everyone died. As expected though, my position sucked, and pretty quickly, I died too. The last round of this game was pretty dead, I got a few kills here and there, but I died to a trade, which meant that the second place guy got last man and ended up tying out the game. Boo! Qualifiers game 3 was Studio 17. I started by sitting in the middle hallway, and I got a couple of kills, but people dropped so quick on this map, and I had to run away pretty quick. I scrambled to get as many kills as possible, thrusted over some zombies head, but luckily for them, they had better connection than me, and I got taken down. Entering round 2, I did my classic zombie strap for studio, camp above the arc light window, but of course no one fell for the trap, so I had to resort to crouch tactics, jumping above the human spawn and lunging down to get my first infect. Uh, this really should have been 2 kills, but I messed up my lunge and I got taken down. The problem with studio for me is that everyone dies so quick and next round was no exception. 3 people dead in the first 10 seconds and I thought with the extra ammo and more zombies I would be guaranteed some kills. I was wrong though. Zombies swarmed in and my gold tier pistol accuracy came back to haunt me, meaning I had to run. If I'd thrusted back successfully into podcast I might have got like 1 or 2 more kills but it didn't really matter because last man was hiding meaning I was dead either way. As I was in 6th place entering the last round, I didn't have high hopes. The first zombie I found Bulltru lagged me, and yeah, I qualified in this game, but I did get a little bit bitter that someone hiding to last got last every round. Now the qualifiers were over, and it was time for the semi-finals. Prisley was hosting our lobby for the semi-finals, and he put the old Zulu on for some reason. I was a zombie first, so I went to the door, and a human fell into my trap. Had to sneak to the door again for the next kill, and I could have probably got another if I was a bit faster on my lunch. Moving on to my human gameplay, and I got a nice headshot on a zombie clambering in human spawn. Old Zulu has this ledge allowing you to jump into square, and I spent most of the time doing that because this map, in my opinion, is one of the worst for competitive, however, the worst is still yet to come. 
I had a few more kills in this round, then I crawled down from square hoping to get a feed going in this room, but the triple kill bull trued me, and with round over, I was in fourth. My gold tier pistol accuracy returned in round 3 as I kept failing to kill people on the bridge below square, almost died and got saved, then got a couple of kills in this room but not enough as I ended up getting assassinated. The disrespect! The question now was could I claw my way up the ladder and the answer was no, as I spent too much time in square, got infected and spawned too far away to infect last man standing. Second game in the semi-finals was Drill Sight, and I like to think that I'm pretty decent at Drill Sight, but the game type messed up the first time because some zombies didn't spawn, it messed up the second time because some humans didn't spawn, and the third time I just did shit and came 11th place, so I was pretty much about to give up at this point, I almost didn't even qualify for the finals, so you guys are going to have to speculate, what position did I come in the next game in order to actually get into the finals? So the pressure was on now. Even though I didn't really care, it would have sucked to get eliminated and I needed content content content. So in the first round, even though I kept dying as a zombie, it was time for me to prepare my mental state for the human. Got one infect by keeping off the radar, and picked up a second by rushing a human in a group who became flustered and choked his shotgun shots. Last man was down bottom mid, and from some miracle I got the flatline, and I needed it. Because in round 2, I got insta infected. Resorting to crouch tactics, I took one guy down in bottom mid and grabbed the second flatline where moments ago I had been infected myself. The castle of Storm's End is probably the safest place to be on this map, even though a lot of the time it's harder to get kills there. I got one kill outside, then I camped here for the rest of the round, trying to get pistol kills and waiting for the second to last to die. Zombies tried to bait me, I got a double kill, and then I don't even know what happened here. How did none of these shots connect? Not gonna lie, I was pissed. I had no idea how I won this game, because I literally died without getting a single kill again on round 4. In fact, the last round I got no kills at all, so I scraped into the finals, and now it was time to sweat. Now it was time for the final 5 games. Hellfire was the first up, and I'd already answered one of the questions from the intro, yes I was still better than Raging Fury. It was now time to answer the second one, as I got last man standing. Kill you Nair! This was my first Nair in a tournament setting, and I was hyped. The rest of Hellfire was pretty tame, and I came out with a win. In order, we played Studio 17, Station Zulu, Nerve Center, and Malignant after the Hellfire game. Studio was my worst game of the finals. I got last man in the first round, and died quickly, but I couldn't get anything going, and Toxic Leader managed to get a game-saving bull true, followed by a nice kill trusty to win the first game. I ended up placing 6. Station Zulu went okay, but really only because nobody did that well. I got a few nice zombie kills like this one of Pro Tanks and Cirque, but got clapped as a human on round 3 because I pushed too aggressive and got punished for it. And on round 4, killing the leading player wasn't enough because I unfortunately missed the flatline for the final kill, meaning I placed second. Nerf Center went how I expected, it was dead and like 4 of us survived the first round. This is probably the worst map for competitive infection, aside from maybe like power installation, but no one likes that map for anything so it never turns up in the tourneys. As a zombie on round 2, I managed to get a crouch kill and a flatline and an opportunity for a little farm probably saved me the game in round 3. As for the final round, template hacks me, rigged, tournament confirmed. I play second for this game. Finally, Malignant, which is pretty much the god map, hashtag 2016 memes. I played this game pretty safe, camping across from the source spawn to pick up some spawn kills and rotating to bottom middle when I had to. I won this game due to a short spree I went on in the third round, where I got last man standing. Killed an AFK who I walked right past and got a nice zombie slayer. The fourth round I was a zombie, and I cruelly camp killed second place to secure my win. So those were the games, and safe to say, the finals were pretty sweaty and presented a great chance. The last time I did an infection tournament, I think I was actually presenting, and the most fun thing to do as a presenter is to reveal the final positions from 12 to 1st, because you make a proper dramatic and be like, in second place, it's not this guy, it's this guy, but it definitely is not fun being on the reverse end of that waiting to see if you're second or first. Thankfully though, I had come first twice and second twice, I was hopeful. One by one, the names were announced, and I had emerged victorious. Overall, I enjoyed the tourney, and it was great to see everyone take it serious, tried the hardest to win. I think I got pretty lucky, and knowing how far from my prime I currently am, if another tourney comes up, I'm sure I'll get slapped. Thanks for watching guys, and if you want to compete in one of these tourneys yourself, follow Team Myriad or Infection Hub on Instagram, links will be in the description. See you guys after uni's over. Put those green bastards back in their grave! Okay, now I'm impressed. How are you this good? Oh, they're gonna be so mad! Did you kill another one? Prey, predator. There's space on my squad for you anytime. Just 30 seconds. 
Yeah, hell's full, but you're packing a few more in anyway. Prey, predator. We won the round.